Our story for Star Window 19, Gift of the Earth, is based on real events. It was the night before Christmas near a small Costa Rican village. Everything was very still in the little hut made of straw and shaped like a beehive. The bright colored parrot now dozed quietly on his perch and three black-eyed little girls, Claudia, Margara, and Teresa, were fast asleep on their mattress made of large dry leaves. Antonia and Jose the parents of the little girls squatted on the earthen floor, building a manger, as they did every Christmas Eve. But this year, they were both very sad, for they knew that their little girls, their chiquitas, had been praying that the Christ child would bring them a doll on Christmas Day. And Jose and Antonia knew that what little money they had would have to be used only for seeds to replant their field. Yes. They were very sad. Early on Christmas morning, before the chiquitas were awake, Jose was at work digging into the rich black earth to plant the seeds when suddenly his shovel struck something hard. He thought it was a rock, but then he began to tremble with excitement, for he saw that the rock was really a red clay doll. Yes, here was a real doll buried in the earth. He lifted it out carefully and ran to the hut. It's heaven's gift from the earth, his wife Antonio said as they hurriedly placed the doll at the foot of the manger so that when the chiquitas awakened, they would find her waiting for them. The Christ child has come, the little girls shouted when they found the doll. Papa, Mama, look! The Christ child has not forgotten us. How excited everyone was. Even the rooster strutted in with his eight hens, and their big brown pigs sniffed and grunted curiously around the doll until Jose chased them all away. Many happy weeks passed for the little girls as they took turns in dressing and undressing their doll in the clothing their mother made from old flour sacks. Then one evening, an elegant stranger, riding on a fine chestnut horse, stopped at the straw hut to ask for a drink of water. As he drank, the stranger's glance fell on the doll. The Chiquita's round eyes followed him as he carefully picked up the doll and examined her. Then he scratched her with the nail of his thumb and some of the red clay fell away. Where did you get this figure? The stranger asked. And when he had heard the story, the man said, Well, you certainly had a lucky Christmas. Then the stranger pointed to where he had scratched the doll. See, he said, she is made of solid gold. Dolls like these were made by the Mayan Indians and are very valuable. Will you sell her to me? Antonia and Jose looked delighted, but the stranger saw tears in the eyes of the chiquitas. Don't worry, little ones, he said. Then the stranger promised to send three dolls from America, one for each of the chiquitas. He paid Jose a great deal of money for the little Indian doll and rode away. Weeks passed, and the Chiquitas were afraid that the American had forgotten them. Then one day, their father returned from the village carrying three long boxes, and in each box was a wonderful doll. Que linda, how beautiful, said Claudia. Que linda, said Margara. Que linda, said Teresa, holding her doll close in her arms. Yes, beautiful, said their father, his eyes shining as he saw the joy of his daughters. Ah, chiquitas, how good, how good was this Christmas gift of the earth. <laughs>